Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Grable and our grade 3 math class. Today we're moving on from linear measurement, width and height and length, and moving on to exploring mass. But first, let's just do a quick review. We'll go for a little walk here and make sure we remember linear measurement because it is very important and you can even take a test at the top of the page on our Google Classroom if you choose. First things first, centimeters. One centimeter, as you know, a good referent is the width of a popsicle stick. Or your fingernail, it's a good one too. We did some measuring with rulers. This is a 30 centimeter ruler. And of course, also with centimeters, we need to know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So we also worked with a meter stick. Whoa. Pretty tall. I'm about two meters tall. And of course, there's this thing called a measuring tape. And of course, my favorite. Let's wrap it up for this unit. Oh my goodness, here it goes. Another measuring tape. There we go. So that is linear measurement, measuring height, length, width, and perimeter. Remember, distance around that new one, perimeter. We are now moving on to mass, which involves kilograms and grams. So mass, we are talking about things as heavy as or as light as. So we will measure mass with scales. You might have seen a scale like this where you, in the grocery store, where you can hang your fruits or vegetables on there and find out if it's a kilogram or two kilograms or how much. And you might even be more familiar with this one, a weigh scale. Yes, here's a weigh scale. So we will be doing lots with kilograms and grams, but for now, let's get to our page. You know, we're always measuring things with numbers as well. And we are on unit number four, still all about measuring. Lesson 11 and page 78. Seven tens, eight ones. So, exploring mass, the kilogram. Now, with the kilogram, you'll notice the word kilo. Hey, I have a connection. Kilogram, kilometer. Okay, there's, you've heard of kilometers. We know we have to go 178 kilometers or kilometers to get to Saskatoon. In a kilometer, there's 1,000 of those meter sticks. In a kilogram, there's 1,000 little itty bitty grams that are about a, a paper clip weight in each kilogram. So one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Good to know. Now on page 78, our first question says, oh, quick review, sorry, almost forgot. When you measure how heavy an object is, you measure its mass. So now instead of weight, or we are talking about weight instead of length and height. We're talking about weight. Now always remember weight with a W and then you spell eight, E-I-G-H-T. So when you measure mass, the kilogram is a unit of mass. You know, we're talking about standard units. This bag of flour has a mass of one kilogram. So about a bag of flour for one kilogram. This grade three student has a mass of about 25 kilograms. Mm -hmm. So that's about you. Now try these. Here we go. Mass of less than one kilogram. So think of something that's less than a bag of flour. Circle the objects that have less than one kilogram. A balloon, bag of flour, a balloon. Let's get another mass. A dog. Ooh. Dog! A calculator. Hmm. Apples. A bag of apples. Ooh, a whole bag of them. I think that's going to be more. An eraser. Oh, that's not as much as a whole bag of flour. And a computer to monitor. Circle the objects that have a mass of less than one kilogram. Number two. 
circle the better estimate. So you have to kind of estimate here, three kilograms or 60 kilograms for a bag of rice. Well, three sounds way more realistic. 60 is like a teenager weight. Six kilograms or 75 kilograms for a chicken. 75 kilograms, I almost weigh most. I don't think a chicken's gonna be that big. I'm pretty sure that one's six. Eight kilograms or 80 kilograms for that man. I'm pretty sure I'm around 70 or 80, somewhere in there. So 80. You try D, E, and F, and we'll have another lesson tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.